This episode is all about using the spot healing tool in Lightroom Classic. Here we'll start with the original photograph on the left, and then we'll look at how we can remove the little antenna on top of the girl's head there so that the photograph looks like this image on the right. With that vision in mind, let's begin. Hello and welcome. My name is Chris Orwig and in this week's episode, we are in Lightroom Classic and we are looking at how we can more effectively work with the spot healing tool. We'll start off with this image over here on the left. This is one of my daughter's friends. And then we'll look at how we can remove the little antenna that are up here and how we can do all of that inside of Lightroom using one single tool. And we'll learn how we can really use that tool like a pro. All right, well, let's dive in. Here we'll go over to the develop module and in the develop module, what we'll do is we will zoom into the image. So I'm gonna go ahead and click to zoom in here so we can focus in on this area. Then to select this tool, you can click on it in the tool strip or you can tap the Q key either way. It's called spot removal. We'll click on that. And you notice that we have some settings. We're gonna dive deep into these settings. Right now we'll start off with heel. And if I bring my brush over here, you can see the cursor is really small. So I'm going to click in or I'm gonna press on my bracket key, tap that multiple times or just press and hold and you can see how that's much bigger. Now the next control we have is feather. As I decrease that, you can see that there's less, less of a transition area. So that's often if you want to have a little bit of a harder edge, you can change that by pressing shift bracket key. Shift left bracket key decreases feather, shift right bracket key increases the feather value. You can see that slider change there as well. Now, typically what you wanna do is you wanna have your brush size bigger than the object you want to remove. In this case, this little pom-pom right here. I'm on healing, opacity is set to 100, and I will just click once and hope for the best. Now, when I clicked, you can see it didn't do a very good job. Now, if you tap the T key to bring up your toolbar, what you can do is you can change this overlay, and here I'll select auto for example and you can see that it was sampling this area down below that wasn't very good now if i want to change that here's an expert tip tap the forward slash key can you see how it's trying to find a better source area for me and it did find one area but some of the other areas it's just not doing that good of a job right that one's okay so we can always manually move this by clicking and dragging this over to this area in this way now, if we find that the feather value isn't enough or we need less of it, we can always change that as we make those changes. Now, what I like to do is tap the H key to show and hide those overlays rather than using the toolbar down below. So I'm gonna hide the toolbar, tap the T key, it's gone. Then if I wanna show or hide these, I'm just gonna press the H key. Let's move over here, we click, and that's gonna then set our source area. If we press the H key, we can see what that source area was. Tap the H key again in order to hide that. Now I wanna work on these smaller areas, so I will press and hold down the left bracket key. Notice how it's making a much smaller brush here, and then I will just paint over these areas. Now if there's areas where it's kind of grayed out a little bit or strange, I'm not worried about that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint over those areas because when you have those overlay graphics hidden, like we have here, I can just retouch right on top of that. And so I can go ahead and fix up any problem areas. Now here we're gonna zoom in even further so we can see this little area here. Now with this, we have this problem where we have it kind of bleeding or blurring out. So often what you can do is if that happens, you can try to paint over the area where you have that little bit of a bleed. Let it sample a new area. So in this case, it's sampling over here and then change it to clone. And what clone will do without any feathering is it will give you a really hard edge around that area. But as you increase the feather, it will soften out the edges and make it more natural. Then again, hide those overlays. You can go on top of that around the edges if any of the edges aren't good and apply healing there so that you have really nice blending. In other words, what we're basically doing is using the best of both worlds. So we are doing some healing work and then more healing work. We're changing our brush size up here. It looks like we need a little bit more still. And we're working with clone or heal in order to create the best results. And by doing that, we were able to retouch away 
that little issue there on top of the image. But more importantly, we learned how to work with this particular tool. Now, let me zoom in on the image and just do a couple more things here. Let's say that we decide we want to work on this little dot right here and we apply that adjustment and we realize that it's a mistake. Well, we can select that and press delete or backspace. Or if you hold down the option key on a Mac, Alt on Windows, do you see how it gives me the scissors? I can then click on that. And that's another quick way to delete. Now, if we really wanted to work on this little area, what we would have to do, tap the H key to hide all those other overlays because they're distracting and kind of irrelevant. And we would need to paint over the problem area, in this case, a high contrast edge like that. Let go. Tap the H key to see the source area. We want a better source area. Change it to clone. Work with that feather value. Try to find the feather value where you have just enough to kind of take that edge of that off right there. So maybe something, something I don't know, kind of like that's pretty good. Tap the H key again. I'm going to do that one more time. And again, you can see I'm just trying to say, like, let's just take that down. I might do a little bit over here. And by tapping the H key, often what you can do is you can get rid of the, sorry, I'm hesitating here because I'm looking at it. You can get rid of the, all those overlays which are just getting in your way. So it makes it impossible to retouch with those on. So just tap the H key to get rid of them. All right, now that we've done that cloning work, then we're gonna go back and we're gonna do some healing work just to fix up those edges. So here we go. And this time we'll do healing and that will just make sure all that texture looks really good. And so this way, we we're able to take that edge off even more. And we could do more if we wanted to. But the whole point of this is learning that technique of using healing or cloning, working with the size of the brush and the feather, and then changing opacity if you need to, if you want to soften something a little bit. We didn't do too much of that. Deleting those points, showing and hiding those points by pressing the H key so that you can accomplish professional level retouching results here inside of Lightroom Classic. All right, hope that was helpful for you and hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.